the honor of being joined by Tony Robbins, an architectural historian and writer. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. So, for the first time in 12 years, a mayor is taking up residence. Tell us about the storied past of uh, Gracie Mansion. Well, Gracie Mansion really has uh, two pieces to its history. The first century, it was a private home. It was built by uh, Archibald Gracie in 1799. Uh, uh, Gracie was a wealthy merchant. He had famous guests. Uh, Alexander Hamilton came to visit him, James Fenor Cooper. Uh, but it changed hands a couple of times, and uh, 1896, the city took it, apparently for back taxes. <laughs> um, and what they really wanted was the estate around it, which became the nucleus of this park. Uh, since, since it's been renovated, can you speak to what it looks like on the inside? Because this, for all intents and purposes, has been used by the public, by New Yorkers. They've been able to go inside uh, and see what it looks like. So tell us about the renovation. Sure. Well, it's been restored a number of times. First in the 1920s for the Museum of the City of New York that moved in. Uh, then uh, Mayor Koch created a special conservancy just to restore it. Uh, under Bloomberg, again, it was uh, strengthened as a building and restored again. And it's full of antiques, things, uh, old pieces of, of, of uh, things that look like they're from New York City's past. Some of them on, have been on loan from, uh, from museums. Uh, one of the most interesting pieces, but I don't know if it's still there, was brought in by Mayor Koch from Brooklyn Museum. It was a Rodin statue of the three shades, these tormented figures, supposedly guarding the gates of hell. And Koch liked to call it the three deputy mayors. Uh, but if you visit inside, it's, it's remarkable how many wonderful old pieces there are, and the house itself, which is an old federal estate. It was, this was a country seat. Remember, we're five miles from where the city was in 1799. What sage advice do you have for the de Blasio family? Because they are they're now going to be the first family of New York City. What advice do you have for them as they move from Park Slope, across the bridge, across the river, into Gracie Mansion? Well, I wouldn't deign to offer them advice, um, but I would say that this is, on the one hand, it's the people's home, but it's, it's really wonderful that it's a ceremonial home for New York. The mayor can greet people. I mean, Bill Clinton's been a guest here, uh, Nelson Mandela, the Dalai Lama. It's an important place uh, for the mayor to have as a place to welcome people to the city. I hope it also remains open to the public. Well, that was uh, something else that was, was brought into question. During the Bloomberg administration, New Yorkers were able to come here uh, and pay a fee and see, actually, some of the private bedrooms. How do you think that will change once the first family of New York actually does move in here? Well, that's up to the first family, I'm sure. Uh, even when it was under a college and it was not open to the public, he would invite members of his of, of city agencies to come up. And uh, they would get tours. Um, I was on one. And uh, we were taken into his bedroom, and he had a large stuffed animal on the bed. And it was kind of interesting to see that. So, you know, the, the, I don't know that mayors have a lot of privacy. Um, it's going to be an interesting balance. <laughs> All right, Tony Robbins, always a pleasure to speak to you. Coming up in the 8 o'clock hour, I'm going to tell you some more fun facts about Gracie Mansion. And I did mention, Gracie Mansion does have heat, yes? Uh, I sure hope so. <laughs> Back to you guys in the studio. Yeah, yes. too. Really. A hey, quick question for you, Mara Soul, about Gracie Mansion. If you were going to put some, you know, put a dollar figure on it, I've read some different numbers up to $200 million. I mean, uh, can Mr. Robbins comment on that? Mr. Robbins, can you tell us a uh, what you think the value of Gracie Mansion is? Well, the value of the house, well, it, it, historically, it's one of the few remaining country seats. You know, there, are, there aren't too many in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. But what about a dollar figure? Oh, it's priceless. Uh, you heard that? It's priceless. Priceless.